I've been wanting to make a video on this topic for a long time because what I'm about to tell you could potentially have drastic effects on the overall quality of life. I'm talking about the true fountain of youth, the one hormone in your body that is considered by many to be the most powerful one in terms of your health, longevity and overall looks and physique. It's called human growth hormone and is in short responsible for muscle growth as well as fat loss, strength, anti-aging, longevity, regeneration and repair of the cells in both your body and brain. And of course I'm not only going to discuss how awesome it is, but in this video I'll show you practical ways to naturally increase secretion of human growth hormone. So growth hormone is naturally produced in the brain in this little pea-sized gland called the pituitary gland and one of its many functions is to make sure we're not remaining the size of our baby throughout our lives but that we actually grow. But the name growth hormone is deceiving because growth is far from its only function and it's also known as the fitness hormone, the anti-aging hormone and the true fountain of youth. It will also strengthen your bones and growth hormone is secreted in the healing process if you ever break a bone and it will eventually make the bone even stronger than it was before, making it very hard to break a bone in the same place again. It also works with testosterone and is responsible for increasing lean muscle mass while also being the main fat burning hormone making you ripped. Your cognitive function is also affected as your memory, focus and concentration improves while your overall mood will also increase. Healing growth and repair of cells is another responsibility of growth hormone. It's really the ultimate hormone when it comes to anti-aging as it regenerates and preserves protein in your body. And your body is full of protein and is not only found in your muscles but in your hair, skin, nails, tendons and ligaments and will essentially keep you fresh and flexible in these areas. And I don't want to dwell too much on the scientific aspects when it comes to longevity but I'll really quickly give you an idea of why this will make you live longer. So inside your cells you have the nucleus where you'll find chromosomes which contains your DNA. And at the end of each strand of DNA there is something called a telomere which protects the DNA. And the telomere are constantly getting shorter and shorter throughout your entire life until it's basically nothing left and you will die of old age. So here's the interesting part. By increasing production of human growth hormone you can reduce the telomere shortening which in turn will make you live longer while also looking younger. However, as we age, the natural secretion of growth hormone decreases due to something called somatopause and that's when signs of aging occurs, lean body mass decreases while fat increases. And this is the reason bodybuilders can't build or maintain their huge physiques as they grow older and it's also the reason older people choose to inject synthetic growth hormone to get that youthful lean look. But if there was a way to naturally increase the production of this hormone, you could reap all these benefits that will make you feel better, look younger, slow the aging process down and increase your lifespan. And I'm going to give you just that now. Alright, so let's dive into the good stuff. I'm going to go through what you can do to naturally increase production of growth hormone and what to avoid doing that will prohibit just that. So the first thing is simply to get more quality sleep. It's when we sleep that we naturally secrete the majority of growth hormone and it's released in a pulsating pattern usually consisting of two big spikes and this stops as soon as we wake up and have our first meal. Which leads me to the second method, don't eat breakfast. Breaking the fast as soon as you wake up will instantly stop any secretion of growth hormone which is why you should try intermittent fasting or consciously abstaining from food for certain hours throughout the day, preferably prolonging the fast you had while sleeping. Most of the production of growth hormone occurs when we sleep due to the fact that nothing is consumed for an extended period of time. And the Journal of Clinical Investigation studied the effects fasting had on secretion of growth hormone and found that fasting for 24 hours increased secretion of growth hormone with up to 2000% for men and 1300% for women. And that pulsatile pattern kept going until the fast was eventually broken and these numbers are unheard of and it is the most effective way to naturally increase it. And the third way is to consume melatonin before going to sleep. 0.5 to 5 milligrams of melatonin before going to bed will enhance both the quality and duration of sleep. And some studies show that consumption of melatonin before sleep can increase secretion of growth hormone by 150%. The fourth is intense exercise or preferably high intensity interval training. You don't need to work out for long but do so intensively to recruit those fast twitch muscle fibers that you can't recruit if you're just jogging. A properly performed HIIT session has shown to boost production of human growth hormone between 450 and 770%. 
The fifth one is GABA. So GABA or gamma amino butyric acid is an interesting one and works as a neurotransmitter in the brain. It's known for calming the nervous system as well as aiding sleep and studies have shown that ingestion of GABA can significantly increase secretion of growth hormone with up to 400% at rest and 200% following exercise. GABA also reduces feelings of anxiety, depression and stress. Consume before working out and or before going to bed. So these five ways will dramatically increase the natural secretion of growth hormone and you don't actually need to know more ways to do it. But you know me, you can't stop me once I'm on a roll, so I'm gonna keep going and give you a few more ways to really squeeze the most out of that pea sized gland in your brain to produce even more growth hormone. So let's move on to the amino acids and the ones who has shown to increase it are arginine, ornithine and glycine. All conditional amino acids that you can get through supplementation but also through regular food and most animal protein has it with turkey breast containing high amounts of arginine. And lastly I want to quickly cover what to avoid that will negatively affect the production of growth hormone. So growth hormone and insulin are indirectly related and when insulin levels are high secretion of growth hormone is low. And this is why you should stay away from sugar and processed foods, essentially high glycemic foods, since it will have a significant impact on spiking insulin levels. You also want to avoid having too much body fat. Too much fat on your body is directly related with your natural secretion of growth hormone, so increasing production of growth hormone will effectively burn more fat, which in turn will promote an increase in production of growth hormone. And that's pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. And the last one is stress, which will trigger another hormone called cortisol, and cortisol will also prohibit growth hormone and should be avoided. So there you have it guys, I'll leave links to the references as well as some of the products I talked about in this video if you want to check that out. And thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.